what is going on youtube uh welcome we got a, i got a new face here i think he's on this side over here uh this is my man one shot and for anyone who's watched these videos before any of my reactions before especially for the uh tom mcdonald videos this is the man that actually told me initially to watch him and uh you know i kind of owe it all to him that uh the channel is starting to kind of grow like it is i owe it to all you the, you guys who watched but i wanted to bring him on camera because uh, he's gonna help me Help me with my Tom McDonald journey. So say what's up, one shot. What's up? I wonder if I should put your yeah, logo on yeah, here. Right. I should get your logo on here, shouldn't I? Hold on, let me see if I got it. All right. So now you got the logos up there. You know who we are. Um, before we get into today's reaction, all right, one shot. I know you've been watching the, the channel growth like I have. You've been reading the comments. You've been uh, replying to some of the comments as well. You've seen all the different uh, recommendations that we've gotten. And uh, I feel like, you know, we're a little overwhelmed with all the love and support that we've gotten. We're going to go through everything. And One Shot's going to be there with me the whole time, I think. Um, but today, we decided that we're going to revisit the Mac Lethal disses, the diss tracks. Um, because I made a silly little comment in, uh, uh, I forget which, which music video it was, but that uh, Tom McDonald can't go after Eminem. He's going to end his career. And uh, I wouldn't say I got backlash for it because uh, I'm not that popular yet. But... I definitely got a lot of uh, attention for that one. Um, so before we jump into the videos, kind of give us your history on Tom McDonald, when you found them, and you know how long you've been listening and so on. Listen to him for um, three years, maybe. How did you discover him? YouTube. But did you like happen just, to run across was, him, or someone recommend him? It was just it was just a random video that popped up on my uh, suggested videos. Would you say that you're uh, completely, like, you, you've kind of listened to his entire uh, um, list of songs? Yes, he's just phenomenal. So like, you, you're officially a member of the Hangover Gang, huh? Word. He it's, is. And I'll die on this hill. I think he could take Eminem. You're not the only one. There was a bunch of people in the comments who said the same exact thing, who said that uh, that he, he looked up to Eminem, but that if they went at it, that he would actually uh, kind of destroy Eminem. Which is it's big talk. I mean, but now again, I'm not some. Uh, you'll you'll see it in the last uh, disc that you're gonna watch. Okay, all right. So we're gonna do this. Um, we talked about this off camera. We're gonna do this in three different videos. Um, so this is, I guess, the first disc. This one's called Lethal Injection. Um, we'll listen to this, then we'll go and listen to Mac Lethal's response, and then we'll come back to Tom McDonald uh, the second one. Um, so I feel like we should just kind of get right into it. Um, I guess before I put the, pull the video up and hit play, uh, thank you so much for all the growth. I, the channel is kind of just kind of skyrocketing right now. I know it's not huge for you know some of the major uh, YouTubers out there, but for little guys like us, we really it's appreciate big, this. It's big for us. We're uh, super amped about it, and we're actually lo very much looking forward to giving you guys reactions to all the Tom McDonald stuff. And really, any other recommendation you guys have, we want to kind of watch, see some new artists. Steve and I in particular would love to kind of find some new people that we've never seen before um, and just kind of discover them with you guys. So let us know in the comments. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Um, and then the last thing I just want to mention before we get into the video is that on our Facebook group, which is Generational Gaming and Entertainment Network, and on our Twitch channel, which you can find us at GGE Network at Twitch on Twitch, um, we are doing a, a major showdown. Um, we have two of the members, the captain and Zuplex City, are going head to head in a, a best of seven sports video game series. They've been talking a lot of trash. There's a bunch of videos to kind of show the trash talk on uh, the Facebook group. And um, but the, the really the name of the game is charity, and the whole kind of point of all this is just to raise as much money as we can for some charities that we are kind of close to us. Um, the tunnels for what is it called? The tunnels for towers, I think. Charity for the first responders' families, and then also a charity for cancer. Let compete me get the name cancer. of it. What is it called? Compete. Compete for cancer. Compete for cancer. So those are the two charities. Um, we're going to have more information on how to donate and uh, kind of when everything's going to be going down over the next few days. If you haven't already, please uh, uh, jump into the Facebook group. You can find us again. It's Generational Gaming and Entertainment. If you search GGE Network, we'll also come up. And if you search for myself or One Shot, um, we'll, come, we'll come up as well. 
Um, I think it should be scrolling all along the bottom of the screen as well, too. And, uh, yeah, we want to kind of make this our biggest stream yet and really raise as much money as we can for charity. Um, so everyone kind of grows and it's like a win-win for everybody. Um, and now let's get into it. Let's pull the video up and uh, let's see what happens here. All right. So do you have the video up? It's been up. All right. I'm ready to go. So you're looking at – I'm at zero, zero dot zero zero yeah. in the video. Is that where you are too? Before we even hit play. I got to talk about this uh, tweet here. Why did Mac Lethal decide to go after Tom McDonald? Because he's a bitch. You know, it's funny. So I do. I'm a big fan of the rap battles. I, uh, an old it's, an old employee of mine got me into like grind time and King of the Dot and all that stuff. So I'm, a, I'm familiar with Mac Lethal and I've always kind of been a fan of his. He wasn't always my favorite, but I've been a fan of his. But, uh, you know, I've only just entered the uh, Hangover Gang group. If, if if I'm if I'm accepted into the group and I'm already just seeing this, I'm already like, you know, screw you. Why are you even going after him? It's jealousy. That's what it is, I guess. Right? He That's was, what it comes down to. It's jealousy. He was getting some uh, some attention, and I guess Mac Lethal was like, well, I'm a white guy who raps, and I'm not getting attention. No, oh, no there's more. There's more tweets to this. It gets it gets a little bit better. Oh, okay, so this is just the first tweet in the video. Yeah. All right. So this says uh, white dude who raps about how white dudes are super oppressing is garbage. I don't know his name. Not gonna learn it. His bars are fucking awful, and he can shove his entire low-rent aesthetic up his ass. Those are some big words, but let's get into this video and see what happens here. Ready? I'm going to count to three, and then we'll hit play. One, two, three. <laughs> I talk shit about Tom McDonald and didn't realize that so many of my fans were his fans, and now they're all mad at me, so... All right, pause. I, I, we got to pause already. 15 seconds. We got to pause. Just the fact that he's starting off uh, with that, like, <laughs> uh, I, I freaking love that. I mean, I make fun of my friends like that. I played sports my whole life, and it's just kind of like the, the go-to uh, attack when you want to hurt somebody's ego. So that cracks me up. What does this one say? You spelt, I haven't been relevant in years, and I'm super fucking jealous wrong. Oh, I love that. That's a great comeback. I've sold out your city twice. All right, All right 15 seconds. Are you at 15 seconds right now? I'm at 15 seconds. All right, ready? One, two, three. I'm just going to tell him that I was talking about somebody else. That's it, yeah. I mean, do I have to pause yeah, it and read this whole thing? I mean, if you want. Yeah, hold on. I, mean, I got to read these tweets. All right, hold on. First of all, I don't know who you are and haven't heard your music until now. That tweet was about someone much smaller than you. Which is bullshit. So he was legit trying to play it off like he wasn't even talking about him? Yeah. He wasn't. Ex he wasn't expecting him to call him on his shit. Yeah, and I was looking at him like I don't think your aesthetic is low rent though. Your videos are well produced. I mean, he's backtracking like crazy. Wow, that's a horrible comeback. Come on, Mac. All right, I'm gonna go to the next tweet then, and then I'm gonna that's pause it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about somebody else. <laughs> you believe me? Wait, this feels like the biggest cop out ever. Yeah. In this month, you dropped six videos. I dropped one. Also, with two million more subs than me. How are your reviews not through the roof? Seems like a large portion of your fan base doesn't care to pay attention. Yeah. Wow. All right, I'm at 23 seconds. Let's Me try. too. All right, ready? Uh, one, two, three. You right? <laughs> right? Oh, shit. All right. I like this little man. instrumental that's playing. Who gave this old man Twitter? Who taught him how this works? Someone tell him when he mentions me do research first. He just old and bitter. Can't hit him where it hurts. Cause it's impossible to make this guy look any worse. Hey, the world forgot about Mac. Now you can't eat Ramadan fast. That Oxycontin you put up your nostril finally rot your brain or where you always wag. Whoa, I should go slow. I don't want you back on the dope. It ain't a joke when you're going broke and you got a daughter at home. <laughs> Leave me alone, you old man. Your career is a joke. It's so sad. Your biggest record is a cover song while you cooking breakfast. You ain't no dad, fucking housewife. <laughs> wait, fucking wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Go back. Hold on. Your biggest record is a cover song while you're cooking breakfast in your house. That's when uh, he did. Uh, it was like his own cover of uh, the Busta Rhymes song, right? While he was making pancakes. I that, think. That's the one that went off. I remember that. That was such a. I mean, it was, I guess, cool for what it was. That's kind of like an embarrassing thing to go to get viral for. Um, I'm at 52 seconds. I'm at a minute and eight seconds. We'll get back to 52. We got to go back. We don't. We don't start. We All don't right, I'm, I'm at 52. Let's go. All right, ready? Three, one, two, three. Hello. 
I don't want you back on the dope. It ain't a joke when you're going broke and you got a daughter at home. <laughs> Leave me alone, you old man. Your career is a joke. It's so sad. Your biggest record is a cover song while you cooking breakfast. You ain't no dad, fucking housewife, fucking washed up, fucking never ever had a sound. How you rap with ICP and still end up the biggest clown? Mac oh. Lethal. What's lethal about him? Old Wait, age, pause, no pause. Face. Hold on. Pause. Are you are you a juggalo? I've listened to them. I fucking love ICP, specifically the uh, original Six Jokers cards. I'm not a, f not that I'm not a fan of the newer ones, but I have to. I never really gave them the time that I gave the uh, older Jokers, the original Jokers cards. I'm a big fan of ICP though. I love, and again, I guess that's why I like Math Mac Lethal too, or um, Tom McDonald too. I like that they're independent. They won't kind of sell out. It's like let me just do my thing the way I want to do it, and they made it. You know what I mean? All right. Go to 117. I'm at 116. I was more into Twisted than I was ICP. I like Twisted too, but I, I came across the Jekyll Brothers album first. And then from there, I branched out into Twisted and some of the other people from the Psychopathic Records. All right, ready? One, two, three. Relapse going back to his old ways A suicide because no fame You ain't a real artist, you just retarded You a weak target, I feel bad for killing You rap fast, but every bar's filler We kept lethal, but we lost Miller I oh. guess your tweet is backfired Go look up satire I guess you're slower <laughs> than you look, Mac You got flat tires, I'm a visionary You a parody, your catalog is embarrassing You pushing 40, your style is corny Stop rapping and do some parenting Fuck, I guess it's that time of the year Hi, I'm here to revive your career God you come off so fucking weird. Is 2019 just admit that you're queer? I don't expect to get a tight response from a midlife crisis with writer's blog. Even though it'd be nice to talk to a rapper who can't even write a song. Wow, look at you now. <laughs> I'm selling out shows in your town. Your demographic, all old ladies. You don't appeal to a younger crowd. You ain't mainstream. You ain't underground. You a specific brand of fucking lame. Your triple time flow, hella boring. How you say so much and have nothing to say? You are all opinions. I'm all facts. You are insignificant. Fall back. Need an update. Reinstall Mac, you can restart and then not rap. <laughs> Picture your life. Flipping burgers, go get me some fries. Cola with ice, one apple pie on the side. David, I'm trying to be nice. I seen your reply in my comments. You said it wasn't about me. Come on, just be honest. You spoke out the ass, and then all of your fans started turning against you. It fucks up your pockets. You're backpedaling. You don't have enemies. You're afraid to have to deal with that energy. You're lying and trying to make up a save. You said it, you meant it. David's too late. Oh dear, I can't believe I have to set this shit straight. Man, old ears, I I hope you hear exactly what I say, man. I'm here. You said you didn't even know my name, dog. So here, I'll say it so you don't forget it, gang. It's Tom McDonald, bitch. Tom McDonald, bitch. <laughs> that was good. That was good. He beat him with the double time already. He basically buried him with with the triple time, but it's all filler, which is true. Mac Lethal did do a lot of filler when it was uh, when he started going really fast. I mean, it's like it's like you um. It's hard to go fast like that and actually impress with the lyrics you use. You know what I mean? Not, 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 not a lot of people can do that. Tech Nine could definitely do it. I feel like Harry Mack can do it, although he, you know, Buster Rhymes busy. Buster Rhymes for sure can do it. Um, I'm missing somebody. There's somebody else too. Well, Eminem obviously can do it also. Um, those are the greats, though. You know what I mean? That's the reason why Mac Lethal didn't make it past uh, some grind time now battles. So, no, he's just on YouTube ciphers. So this is this is part one, basically, of the uh, Tom McDonald disses and the Mac Lethal. Uh, uh, would you even call it a feud? I mean, it, it sounds to me like Tom McDonald basically just destroyed just him. I haven't heard the Mac murder. Lethal thing yet. That's what it seems like, right? Oh, about murder. But what's your opinions on the first uh, the first diss track? It, I mean, it's a good diss track, but uh, it's clearly like. To me, it's it's clearly like kind of just kind of setting the stage for what's to come. You know what I mean? Everything everything he's saying is basically just relating to the tweets in particular, and some of the you know like the Buster like him doing the "Look at Me Now" uh, cover while making the pancakes. But I'm curious to know what he's gonna say on the second one when he's kind of gotten all the easy stuff out of the way, because uh, if, if he ends it with this with his second diss, then clearly he brings up he brings up some stuff some stuff that oh, I'm not even aware of. Prison. Yeah. So and plus, I'm pretty sure everyone people in the comments said that that second diss is the one that. Kind of proves that Tom McDonald would destroy Eminem even in this in a feud, but like I kind of I kind of want to see it happen still though. You know what I mean? Because it would just and be. You fun definitely to... have to watch the music. The, the video, like the video, adds to all of it. Well, that's what I'm curious about too, because this video didn't really add much. It was just him rapping to the camera, so um, it wasn't a bad video, but it, you know nothing super creative or special about it. You know what I mean? 
Nova fucking kills it with her video productions. So far, everything I've seen is uh, unbelievable. You know, very clear, very high end. It looks very professional. You know what I mean? It just kind of shows you you can, you you don't need to have a giant studio behind you in order to actually make professional looking videos and, and professional quality videos. So let me know. Uh, keep an eye out for part two and three because I'm going to listen to the Mac Lethal response and then I'm going to react to Tom McDonald's second uh, uh, disc to kind of end the feud. Uh, thank you again for uh, you know, watching this video. And if you like it, please like and subscribe. Uh, again, join us on all the social medias. The big ones are Facebook, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. And um, keep an eye out for part two and three. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.